Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to 88 Mile Per Hour Adventures. My name is James and I have decided to take a trip to the Lakeland Antique Mall. Now you might be thinking, what's so exciting about an antique mall? Well, basically if you're a fan of Disney and or Universal, uh, this place has known to have a lot of theme park things inside of it. Basically, um, things that you might find in the resort, some of the you know the furniture stuff like that, some of the older stuff they don't use, it kind of makes its way here. There was even a ride vehicle in here one time when I came in. Um, so we're gonna go in, check out, see what they have, and see what kind of cool Disney and Universal stuff they got going on in here. There it is, the Lakeland Antique Mall. As you can see, pretty good size. Got a lot of cool stuff in here. Wouldn't be an antique shop unless there was a gigantic horse out front. And right up here at the front, we got our first amusement park attraction. Looks like they got a couple different things here. I guess this is a red vehicle, and this was one of the Magic Kingdom, one of the barrier caves you had to go through to get on. Uh, this is from Disneyland Space Mountain Ride. Me? Either one. Around here. Uh, Not really sure that's going to fit in the house, and God only knows how much the sucker cost. But it looks like we got two ride vehicles right here up at the front, so that's really cool. If you need you a good Kylo Ren figurine here, this is pretty tall. They got you covered here at the antique mall. They really do have kind of everything inside of here. I got some Disney stuff here. Haunted Mansion Tombstone Bookends. A little card from the 2024 Flower and Garden Festival. Which is still going on. Got some different stuff in here, figurines, probably stuff you used to be able to buy in the parks. I'm not sure if you still can, although obviously the 2024 you still can. Oh, there is a plaque for Terry Dickey for 10 years of outstanding service. So, what is that, $95? I guess if you want somebody else's 10 year service plaque from Disney, it's available. Also got some old school, looks like name tags. Charlene and also Charlene. There's a construction hat from Disney's Wild World of Sports. $225. Ooh. Wow, look at this 1950s Disneyland roller coaster with two cars, $150. Wow. All right, and here looks like a little seating area, but they got a they got a car here. It looks like from Halloween Horror Nights 30. Rob Zombie Hillbilly Deluxe Scare Zone 2019 Dragula car. Photo op. That's really cool. Do not climb or sit in the car. You know somebody has. <laughs> That's really cool. Well, they got it with the huge banner from Halloween Horror Nights. Okay, so you know I had to gravitate towards this here. Uh, Marty and Doc look like figurine from Back to the Future 3. I'm a fool. A cool $450. Oh, look at this. Looks like an old Disney little poster. Fly Eastern frame poster, $35. Can't tell how old that is, it doesn't say, but it definitely looks old. I got here for 35 the Enchanted Tiki Room poster. And just a you know, orange poster, I guess, $35 as well. You even got your pick of uh, old uh, Mickey ears. Got a couple different baskets here of these. Also got some backpacks. Not sure if these are older or newer. They don't look too old. Well, the one says 2024 on it, so definitely not. Between 69 and $89. So you got a t-shirt here for sale from the Disney Wild World of Sports. Uh, 
rare medium, $125. Got a Disney pin section here. Looks like a bunch of people's name tags with uh, various different uh, I guess stages of how old they are. You can see by what the name tag says on it. 2000. Uh, I guess that's one for the hundredth. Got some more down there. Ooh, set of four hundred and nine dollars for the Festival of Arts 2024. I think people buy these and just, or maybe the shop goes to Disney and buys these and then just comes and marks them up a little bit here. Limited edition from 2006 pass holder pin. There you go. If you got two thousand dollars to spend and you need a good size Ronald McDonald <laughs> for your house, there you go. This is the place to come. Well, looks like we got some more Disney pins. These are really just everywhere. If you want to get Disney pins and you don't want to go to Disney, this is definitely a place to go. I got all kinds. It was only nine dollars. Some of them are more expensive. Those are the ones in the, I guess, in the cases. These just in a basket here. So these must be the, you know cheaper versions yeah, looks like these are around yeah, nine ten dollars we've got some 2020 or no I'm sorry this is 2000 all right 2000 yeah. count down to the millennium these are also ten dollars some 24 year old pins uh, price isn't too bad I don't know if these are, I'm not a pin, like I said, I'm not a pin collector, so I don't know if these are, you know, anything anybody enjoys, but it looks like they got a whole, whole stash of them from, uh, from 2000. I oh, know this is cool over here. They got a framed picture. Looks like it was signed by the artist of the Haunted Mansion. I can't really see a price on it. I'm sure it's not cheap. You got a Disneyland hat for $15. Oh, there it is. Uh, Haunted Mansion Fiber Optics Shelf Piece. $250 for that guy. Another little Disney section over here, it looks like. A couple stuffed animals. A little poster here. Wishes Fireworks Spectacular. How much is that guy? It looks like $35 for uh, the uh, Wishes poster there. Pretty cool. Got some other various stuff here some I mean like this is what I'm talking about I don't know if these are extra and then Disney kind of just sends them here I would imagine because they do have you know a lot of the ride vehicles and things like that so it's kind of extra stuff if you didn't get a chance to pick it up in the actual parks you can get it here because obviously these are 2024 mugs I don't know if they still have them available but 50th anniversary train set there $350 Got some other goodies here, some more artwork down here. Got some Beauty and the Beast, $30, framed lithograph. Frame doesn't look like it's in the best condition, but got some Winnie the Pooh mugs here. How much is good old Winnie the Pooh? $28, I don't know if that's for the set of four, I think it is. I hope so. And got some more Disney plush here, this kind of looks like the 80s section of cups and mugs you kind of look up here look at all these collectors cups from probably various fast food places I'm gonna move this ladder out of the way I mean this just looks like straight up a cup the uh, paper cup you get when you go to McDonald's Monopoly some other plastic ones as well they got all kinds of stuff here that's for sure and like I said, got some Disney plush figures here. Mickey Mouse and Minnie. Here we got a Nightmare Before Christmas stoplight. Purple stoplight there. That's pretty cool. Looks like it said it was about $350 on this one, I believe. Oh, $400, my bad. $400. You want to take that guy home with you? 
like I said, all kinds of goodies here. If you need some Christmas uh, Mickey ears here, hidden Mickey, not not very hidden, kind of wreath looking. There you go. What are we looking at for this guy? Two hundred and fifty dollars. I got like step back. That's how big it is. If you need that for your Christmas display. Wow, now look at this. Now, I don't know if this is from Disney. Probably not. It looks like it's from some other theme park, but that's really cool. Old. Very, very old. I mean, the Carnival Rollerball game, $500. Just says Vintage Wood Carnival Rollerball game. Yeah, I would definitely say Vintage for sure. You know, I thought these were just like regular like Christmas decorations. These are actually from Universal Studios. You can see on some of these here. This is... Uh, Harry Potter Christmas Tribute Tree, $200. This one here, Men in Black Christmas Tree, $100. So these must have all been from uh, Christmas. I don't know if it was this past Christmas or not, probably. And they got different ones over here as well. Even some Halloween ones. one Betty Boop store Christmas tree and it looked like this is over where the the Mickey ears are these are all Disney ones because you can see here this tree says right there almost $400 Animal Kingdom Christmas tree it looks like all these decorations are basically from Disney on this one side over here and then over here on the other side is the decorations from Universal Studios so if you want to pick up a, a tree from one of the theme parks it's available it's gonna cost you but it's available and then it looks like they have some stuff back here larger things but it's there's all kinds of stuff here in front of it so I can't really get to it but you just kind of see it says it's from Universal Studios different stuff obviously that's from <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights probably different goodies back there like I said they've kind of got it blocked something Universal Orlando cinematic celebration kind of like a light box got a couple of banners here that are about 80 years old got a tag down here says 1940s monkey circus sideshow banners these banners were hand-painted during the 1940s by artist Jack Sigler, who was one of the premier banner artists during the 30s and 60s. I, don't, I guess he wasn't during the 40s and 50s, just the 30s and the 60s. It says they were featured on American Pickers episode Freaky Florida season 20, episode 19. If you want both, it's going to cost you a cool $3,250 or $1,850 each. Definitely interesting. I don't know what one would do with them, but they're here if you want them. For both a cool $32.50. Alright, making my way over here. As you can see, theme park merchandise, Disney Universal. Looks like just stuff they would sell in the uh, parks that you could buy in the gift shop. A lot of this is Star Wars related, it looks like. Different things. Get you a Stormtrooper helmet. Some toy lightsabers. Stuff like that. And a lot of this, yeah, basically it's just uh, stuff they probably sold in the gift shop. That if you don't actually want to go to Disney, you can pick up here, I suppose. Not sure the difference in price between the two. And then, like I said, I don't know if this is, some of this might be older that they don't sell anymore. And some of it might be they just kind of got it and they're selling it here too. I mean, this water bottle's $8. I would imagine if that's in Disney, it's way more than $8 than Disney. Looks like a couple little shot glasses. $10 for the shot glasses. We've got a lot of Disney stuff we've seen so far, so we definitely got to get some Harry Potter goodness in here as well from Universal. I mean, you could literally, this place is so big, you can kind of see the, the little walkway down there, and it's like, you know, different rows of this going down there. So if you come, plan to spend some time in here because it will take you a while to go through all these goodies. Got some old school VHS Disney tapes. Bambi, Toy Story, Winnie the Pooh. More Disney 
plush figurines there. Got a full size old school scale. American scale, 1940s and 50s, $400. Well, apparently it'll tell you your weight and also read your fortune. Awesome. And if you happen to want a picture of the Lakeland High School class of 1983, 25 bucks and it's yours. Yeah, it kind of looks like a lot of these are in sections. So there's like different stuff for different little sections. And if you enjoy Coke, this apparently is going to be the section. Look at all these Coke bottles, full of Coke. This is definitely the Coke memorabilia area. Like I said, look at that. Jesus, they have a Trump Coke. Wow. 1982 National Cola Clan Convention. The Clan. Oh. I don't know if I'd be picking up that one. <laughs> but they've got all kinds of different goodies here. Some more down here. Commemorative Cokes, if you happen to want one of those. Well, yeah, this is definitely the, the uh, old Coca-Cola memorabilia section. Even got some old trays, some pins. Is that maybe from the Olympics? What is that from? Nope, just Victoria 94. We got the old school trays. God, I had some of these when I was a kid. Not the Coke ones. I had a, a Smurfs one when I was a kid. Wow, I haven't seen trays like that in a long time. But yeah, we got all kinds of goodies in there. Uh, Publix employee pins if that uh, is something you want to pick up that's uh, also here and then we got some more cokes looks like these are the public themed cokes I've said it I've said it once already uh, multiple times they they really do have everything in here if you're into presidential pins and John Edwards 04 George W Bush what is Dewey? He's a really old George Wallace. Wow. <laughs> uh, that's something you're into. Inauguration Day, January 20th, for Bill Clinton. I got all kinds of pins in here for uh, presidential nominees, if that's something you like. Another Kylo Ren mask up here. Kylo Ren, well represented at the uh, Antique Mall. <laughs> Seen him a couple different times. There we go. We've got some uh, older things in here from Disney right there. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see with the glare. 1979 Walt Disney World Magic Key Coupon Book and Full Tickets. That's $55 right there. 2017 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival Button Set of Four. Looks like for annual pass holder. If you want some uh, handmade finger earrings, also available for $15. Oh, wow. Now, I had this cup when I was younger. You got the right one, baby. Uh-huh. Ray Charles one. Good Lord. How much is that? Six dollars. I had these cups. I don't know where we got them from, but those are those are like 80s. I'm, I'm, I want to say 80s, possibly early 90s, but I'm pretty sure that's 80s. Got some more old school Disney merch here. This is the uh, Mickey Mouse Club Lunchbox. It says it's from 1977. The year I was born. Uh, $89. And it's got the thermos, I think, goes with the same lunchbox there. I said a lot of old school Disney stuff here. Maybe if I'm looking to upgrade my camera, switch it to one of these guys. Now, this guy looks like something out of Halloween Horror Nights. I don't see any kind of paper on it, but it does look really cool. Yeah, so if you're looking for collector's cards, apparently this is the area to go to. Wow. They've got all kinds of goodies there. I don't want to say this one shelf is starting to bow a little bit, but uh, I think I might want to pull some of those off of there, get a different shelf. But if you like uh, collecting cards, sports, all kinds of stuff, uh, and this looks like just kind of the sports section. We got some different figurines and stuff here. Look at all these complete sets. 91 Donruss. Wow. 1990, 1988. Looks like 20-some-odd dollars each. 23, 26, 80 for the, what is that, an 84 complete set. Got 87 on here. 
Looks like that's the earliest I can see is 87. Yeah, these ones look like they're a little bit newer. I used to collect cards back in then, 88, 89, 90. Oh, been a long time though. Then got some figurines over here. These are old school, 96, 95. A-Rod there, Alex Rodriguez. Jose Canseco. Starting lineup there. We got David Justice. Even a Brett Favre. Frank Thomas. Goodies down here. Jorge Posada, Gary Sheffield. We got Ebbets Field Stadium figurine for $34 there. And if you happen to be a fan of racing, looks like they got some cards and models and stuff like that here as well. And it looks like I have found another Coke section. These are really cool. Kind of like for a movie room or something like that. I may actually pick one of these up. $25. Good for the old movie room. I got some Disney stuff over here. Old Cokes. Celebrate Mickey. Uh, Mickey 75. So 75th anniversary, I guess. Only $6. That's not that bad. Got a Tokyo Disney from 2016. Uh, Coke bottle here. It's like a fifty dollars. And these look like I don't know what this is. Disneyland anniversary Coke bottle sealed, fifty dollars. Looks like they've got some more over here. Not all of them sealed, but <laughs> Disney Cruise Line. Looks like I mean, most of these. That one's Cruise Line's thirty. The others look like they're fifty. So, some Disney themed. And then we've got these guys. I know these come from Star Wars. Section of Disney, because I have a couple of them. A sprite there, and that's six bucks. And that guy. And other various assorted Coke memorabilia here. And it looks like we got some more kind of Disney figurines. Here we go the Haunted Mansion figurine. That's cool. Uh, looks like it's $600. Yikes. Got uh, Cinderella's castle there. Looks like a thousand. And it's kind of folded, hard to see. Thousand dollars for that one. Got some other stuff here, more haunted mansion stuff. Some snow globes. Looks like a 50th anniversary one back there. These gallery of light haunted mansion. Shadow box, Madame Leota. And some others there. There's another one of the Cinderella's castle. I don't see the price. Is that it over on the side? Hard to see. Looks like about 450. Lumiere. We got some bigger ones down here. Kermit. Got Grumpy. And some other stuff down there. Looks like Peter Pan. These are rare, one-of-a-kind Dis Disney Aristocats clay sculptures. What does that say? $850 for these guys. And we've got some more on the flip side here. A little Disneyland Mickey. Looks like $1,300. Got a headstone from uh, Haunted Mansion. What is that? $400. I got some more pins, it looks like, here in the case. Like I said, definitely a lot of pins if you like to be a pin trader, pin collector. This is, uh, you can find a lot here. Looks like from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean right there. $300, that guy. Well, if you need to catch up on your Disney annual pass holder magnets, they have some here. There's one there. You got a few here. Looked like they were $6 a pop. And a Disney Cruise Line from uh, summer 2007. A little squeaky. Another pass holder magnet. And some various other ones too. And a Cinderella. I guess you could put your picture in there, put that up on the fridge. And a Mickey Ears magnet there. Looks like they had some other stuff here. It says it's a grand opening of Disney Resort. Uh, and I can't really see which one. But that's here as well. Also got various lanyards here, Disney lanyards you can pick up.
All right, I think we've gotten into the main section here of the theme park stuff. Different cutouts here from Universal 195. Original prop, Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 2021. $295. Looks like they've got a ton of stuff over here. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure this is the Halloween Horror Night section. Gonna go out on a limb on this one. That is a lot of goodies. Actually, no, this is Disney. Well, some of it looks like it's mixed in. We got Haunted Mansion over here. Haunted Mansion. Then we've got Universal Studios. Looks like we kind of just threw it all in together. So probably some of the scarier stuff here back there. Universal Studios. I think there's just a few Haunted Mansion that were kind of thrown in here up at the front, but I think most of this is Universal Halloween Horror Nights. And a random Jurassic Park. Got some more signs over here. Threat Outpost. Looks like it was part of the store. Got some Mylar banners here underneath as well. More signs over there. Looks like you had all kinds of different signs. Looks like when the signs are done with, they just come here. Mardi Gras 2023, $100. Halloween Horror Nights 2022. An Impact Wrestling sign. Doesn't really see anything. Looks just like a. I guess somebody took it. Seventy-five dollars, whatever it was here. <laughs> Got some more signs here. Oh, this is cool right here. What is this? Universal Studios original prop for Volcano Bay sign used for display. Seventy-five dollars. That's actually pretty cool. Not bad too. Seventy-five dollars. Got some other stuff here, Halloween Horror Nights. Is this two different ones or no, that's just one. Universal Signs, Little Boo Wood Sign, $35. I think that's more of a, probably just stuff they sold. Wow, this is an old, oh no, they just used an old kind of font for it. I thought that was older because the look of it was old, but it's from 2022. Got some lanyards here, Harry Potter 2018, Mardi Gras stuff, different goodies there, there's another Jurassic Park 30th anniversary sign, and all, these look like they were probably just for sale during Halloween Horror Nights, kind of good guys thing up there, that's pretty cool. And we've got the flip side here. Looks like some more Halloween Horror Nights goodies. You got the minions up there. Uh, prop. $60 for that. And we've got some more goodies over here. Halloween Horror Nights 30 Years of Fear standee. That's $600. Some glasses down here. Like I said, that were, these are probably just gift shop stuff. All right, here's a Disney prop. Or, well, it says Disney for the poster. I guess that's <laughs> this is in front of it. Universal Studios Fast and Furious prop sign is $125. It's the, oh, it's an onward poster for Disney. I gotta bother looking at that. It's just an additional entry sign. These are probably just fake video games. Halloween Horror Nights themed. Mrs. Dumpty. $950. And then we got some more of these guys here. This is Headless Horseman. $2,000. Some more various characters back here. Scooby Doo Monsters Villain. $2,000. More little creatures back here. There's this guy, $1,500. Well, these look like they're all from Scooby-Doo. That's uh, $950, $750. And we got some 
other stuff up here. A Mardi Gras Universal sign. And got some chairs from the Grand Floridian. Used in the concierge area of the resort. $50. That's not bad. $50 for a chair. It's from the Polynesian. $95. Now we've got some lamps. That's a pretty cool lamp with Mickey on it. It's $250. Original prop from the Yacht Club. And then this is from the Boardwalk Resort. And some other stuff here. These guys. A resort pillow from uh, All Store. All, All Store. All Star Resorts. And their Animal Kingdom lamp from Jumbo House, $125. This is like I was saying, they've got resort stuff here too. Just, you know, furniture type things like that you can always pick up, especially if you happen to have stayed there. Got some different goodies in here. This is probably artwork that was in the resorts. Yeah. Prop Boardwalk Resort Mickey, $189. I'll step back there's like a thing right behind me here wow these are really nice here look at that 330 Disney Polynesian Resort beach scene this one looks very old it might be where they just made an older looking one Pinocchio framed artwork piece was most likely used in the Pinocchio montage put on display 500 there's another one probably from the Polynesian Looks cool. Just a Disney Hollywood Studio sign. I'm gonna go out on them and say that. It's probably, I don't see a sign on it, but I'm guessing that's somehow from, uh, it's a small world. So they've got that as well. It's kind of narrow in here. I'm trying to film this without tripping over anything because then I will own it. And down here, Disney Original Prop Animal Kingdom, wall sconce, $120. Another one there too. Animal Kingdom. Disney. Oh, uh, looks like the the um, thing up there wasn't from Small World. Uh, Display at the Wo uh, World of Disney uh, store in Disney Springs. Fifteen hundred dollars for uh, that guy right there. Ooh, you gotta really want it. Looks like I've got a mirror here. Disney's Animal Kingdom, just under $600. Well, if you want some uh, dining ware, got some plates here from the Yacht and Beach Club, $40 a plate. Thanks. This is from the Cruise Line. And also the Grand Floridian. You can get some plates from your time there. I also have this here. It says Disney Original Prop Mickey Award, no plaque. So I'm guessing it's you know, some kind of award and the plaque would be there for whoever won it. But this is just the bare bones of it. $80 if you want to give yourself a Disney Award. I got some old school Peter Pan. Right there, I don't know if I can even see it. I know it's 500 Peter Pan frame art used for Disney, huh? <laughs> Not sure where it was, if anywhere. Got some other stuff over here, probably from various resorts. Let's see if they got anything else back here. Probably more stuff from some of the resorts. More yacht club plates. And these are probably various pictures from different resorts. Here's a Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow, where's that one? Uh, Caribbean Beach Pirates Art, no glass, seventy dollars. Looks like some more Jack Sparrow. They're Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, looks like we've got a lot more artwork over here. Fantasyland. Wow, uh, let's check this one. Small World poster with pictures. $145. It even comes with a little ticket. Got all kinds of stuff over here. Including that big guy. Disneyland Resort sign. Seen better days, but 
if they're available. Alright. All store resort resort popcorn light. $125. Pick up some old school VHS Disney. These look like trading cards. Dollar each Disney related. Got some other stuff in here. There's a Tigger phone. There's a Mickey phone from back in the day. Got some other cool goodies back here. Got a lot of characters up here. This is kind of, I think, the main section for Disney stuff, Disney goodies. Different pictures. Even get the part of the inconvenience signs you can buy. Some like, stickers and things down in here. Got some mirrors. I don't know if these are from the resorts. Yacht Club mirrors. So, yeah, these are got a collection of them from the Yacht Club. What was this guy? Appreciation of Patsy Bailey. $195. Yeah, she appreciated it so much she sold it. <laughs> Contemporary resort. Top of the world lounge bar stool. $145. Got some others here. Some more mirrors. Looks like probably from Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. More stuff up here. A snow White dress. I don't know where those came from. I don't really see the sign on that. And some 50th anniversary stuff here. That's interesting. 50th passport guide. That's interesting. Looks like a mouse pad. And March through May of uh, 2005. This is Disneyland 50th anniversary. $25, not bad. Ooh, that's old. Got a couple chairs here. Let's see where these are from. Uh, red boardwalk chair. Got a couple more here. This is from the Disney Yacht Club Resort Chair, $300 each. There is the big kind of train up there. They got all kinds of goodies over here. Vintage, what was this thing? Disney cast costumes, $1 each. You can get yourself a cast member costume from back in the day for only a dollar. Looks like various cups that you could buy from the different places. Or I have one of these, or a similar one, from the LeFou's Brew. This is Tangled. Uh, what is that, six dollars? I got some these huge suckers up there. These are only $1.98. What is this? Challenge Trophy Ice Cream Cup. There you go, here's a shirt from the 2005 Hong Kong Disneyland opening team. That's uh, $295. Ouch. We got some plates down here from MGM Restaurant. $95. For the big one, looks like $45 for that one. And some other just regular Disney plates there, $75. You pretend to be a Universal Orlando Resort team member and get a magnet. And these off in the corner, All-Star Resort Lights. You can get these guys here. These are $30. Yeah, $30. Got some other goodies in here. Disneyland photo location sign. Another chair. This one looks like it's seen better days. What is this? Grand Floridian uh, chair, $225. And got some other guys up here up top. Wow, they even have a Mayberry section. Mayberry Sheriff's Department. Interesting. Taylor 5, 2024. We got all kinds of stuff up here. We got 
this guy right up here at the front. Universal Studios Little Boo, part of Halloween Horror Nights last year. $1,000, and then this, I don't know what kind of dinosaur this is, <laughs> but he's there. And then they've got all kinds of pins up here. $1.69 on Disney trading pins. All up front, these are $10 and up. Look at them, at least they got them kind of spread out over prices. Five to six, five to six, three to four and up. Eight and up, eight and up. You need a Disney pin. You're not going to Disney. This is definitely the place to come. Yeah, everybody, that is going to do it for this video. I want to say I covered probably about 80%, 85% of the store. It's pretty large and there's a lot going on in there. Um, and it was kind of crowded and you got people with shopping carts in there. It could be kind of hard to get through. But I, I, I saw probably, like I said, a good 80% of it. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will leave a link down below with the address if you want to check out the uh, Antique Mall. This is in Lakeland, Florida. It's about halfway between Orlando and the uh, Tampa area. Um, and if you're new here, please think about hitting that like and subscribe button. This is a fairly new channel. Uh, vlogging all of my traveling adventures so make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment down below let me know if you've been to the Lakeland Antique Mall before or something you want to try out uh, as always everybody thanks so much for watching I'll see y'all in the next video